Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Shit, they're gonna die. What happened to you? Goddamn raiders. I should have known. Raiders. That's what. Those bastards have my family. You. You gotta help me. Please. Are you okay? Hell, I've seen better days. But it's my family I'm really worried about. Once those raiders realize I'm gone. I don't even want to think about what they'll do to them. God, you gotta help me. Tell me what happened. They fooled us. Big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there were raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. 
I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Nuka World is still up and running? I remember that place. I wouldn't say it's still running. The place is run down, but those raiders sure got it made. Plenty of supplies, clean water, guns. Oh god, I never should have left. How did you manage to escape? There's not very many of them. Four, maybe? Five? And with the amount of jet they were doing to celebrate, it was easy. I picked the lock on the cage they had me in, but one of them came barreling in before I was able to free my wife and son. My wife, Lisa, told me to run. So I did. Now I just gotta hope it's not too late to save them. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. I'm offering you a way to heal yourself. Why pass that up? Damn it. Look, he got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Why do you help them? Besides not wanting to die, I'm not the only one they got stuck under their thumb. If I don't pull through, their lives are at stake just like mine. I figure, what's some stranger's life compared to those people I know and care about? Let me help. Now I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you? You're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express, but I shut it down to help sell my story. It makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the Raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Hi. Quit wasting time and get that power on. Attention. In the event of an emergency, remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. Standing at over 100 meters tall, 
this top mountain is the largest man-made structure in Nuka World and features the five-star Biztop Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. Well, look who learned the truth and still showed up. I guess Harvey played his cards right after all. I only got a minute. So you better listen, and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage. And our mutual friend, Harvey, only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. In case you haven't noticed, looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet.
joke! I knew we should have put turrets in there! Yeah, boss. Finally. <laughs> now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then we're going to give these folks a show. A show? 
where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. Think you're hot shit getting this far. <laughs> Think again. All right, Gage. Let him through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet! All right, listen the hell up. If you want to make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. Find the intercom on the wall. I'll make it quick. Time's wasting here. Who is this? Gonna, I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. What the hell is this place? You make it through this alive, I'll explain everything. You want me to listen? Tell me now. All right, all right. The gauntlet's the overboss's pet project. Lure in whoever we can, however we can. Like that guy Harvey and his poor family. Total bullshit just to get you here. Does that little scam actually work on anyone? You'd be surprised. The bleeding hearts can't say no. And the greedy assholes out there can't resist the temptation of getting rich. He's a terrible con man. I saw through his little scam. Yeah, but you're stuck here anyway. So I need you to listen up. And why should I trust you? I suppose that depends on how much you value your life. All right, I'm listening. My kind of guy. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill. But this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? So how do I beat him? You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Hell yeah. Is this a, a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. Seriously, is this some kind of joke? Nope. It's the perfect weapon. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are going to short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Staying hydrated is half the battle, right? He ain't got a choice. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side.
Sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, we talked about this. He survived the gun. He was smart enough to take my advice and strong enough to kill Colton. He's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? He'll get respect when he earns respect. Amen. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. So you really wanted the Overboss dead? Dead? Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. Death by squirt gun. I'd love to see the message on his tombstone. Tell me about it. I wish I had a better look at his face when the suit shorted out. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast, but you need to listen. Taking out Colter wasn't just a last-minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the Overboss Department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this, and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place? Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There.
at the next raider you see. I'll take out the rubbish. Exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. Pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress-up. Seems like the work never ends. But I'll get it done somehow. Over, boss. Making trouble? Well, so, so let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the dark. Takes out the boss. Now, uh, am I myself on fire an option? You haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary. Damn, Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done, make real progress. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. 
Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Wait, what kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But, one step at a time. You in? Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just... don't screw this up. Aren't you raiders all the same? Hey, come on now. No need to be insulting. Commonwealth gangs, well, most of them don't even qualify. They ain't organized. They don't make smart decisions. Basically one step up from rabid animals. I've run with some of them over the years. Every single time, they either think way too small or get themselves wiped out. I make a point of getting the hell out of Dodge before that happens. I don't get it, Cage. What's the appeal of all this? Oh, come on. It ain't that hard to see. You take whatever you want from whoever you want. Anybody has a problem with that, you cut them down. You telling me that doesn't sound like even just a little bit of fun to you? Anyway, don't mistake the gangs out here for being the same as those Commonwealth saps. Gangs out here, they got agendas. And they're gonna expect results. You can't afford to forget that. You need anything else? Now I want to know more about Nuka World. Yeah, good call. Big time amusement park back before the world went to shit. Well, I guess if this place is any indication, it wasn't so hot before it all blew up. Anyway. We weren't the first to think of this place as a good stronghold. Before we got here, a bunch of traders had set up shop and hired a whole lot of guns to protect them. 
They were dug in like ticks. That's why it took pulling a bunch of gangs together to even have a chance. You've got this area of the park. Isn't that enough? Why do you want more? You got a lot to learn, boss. So we've got Nuka Town. And most of the traders work for us now. They ain't happy about it, but screw them. We really need the rest of these parks, though. Every one of them not under our control is a threat. And the gangs are too cramped up. They're stepping all over each other. Unless they get room to spread out, there's gonna be bloodshed. So the sooner you get them all to agree to follow orders, the sooner we can improve our situation. You, uh, got any more questions? Tell me more about the gangs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, quite the assorted bunch. All used to hate each other, and I guess maybe they still do to a degree. Took a shitload of work to get them all on board with this idea, so I really don't want to lose them now. And if I were you, I'd start with the disciples. They might all be crazy, probably are in fact, but Nisha has her reasonable moments. Then you've got the operators. Spoiled, rich kids. But doesn't mean they ain't ruthless killers. If you can impress Mags, she'll listen to you. And then there's the pack. I'm not saying they're savages, but, well, shit, they're savages. I don't know how Mason keeps them on a leash. Up to you who you want to trust the most, but you're gonna need to trust at least some of them. You need anything else? Nothing else for now. All right. You know where to find me. You need something? That last one died too fast. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. Hey there. If you come across any Hubologist crazies, just ignore them. I told those freaks to stick to their camp. We should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragon. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You wanna talk? Talk to Nisha. Hey. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet, you killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... 
Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double D. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies when everything's get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. That thing should be shut down. It's dangerous. Dangerous? People are dangerous. That thing's child's play. Just a bunch of traps and critters. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me? Your overboss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. <laughs> and why would I trust you? Because we need each other. You give us what we want, and it's just a matter of time before everyone in the Commonwealth knows your name. And what is it you want? When you finish what Coulter started, you give us control of this park. Then you set your sights on the Commonwealth. And once the Commonwealth is yours, and believe me, with our help, it will be. You just make sure the Disciples have more than our fair share of the territories. Work for me? I'll get you whatever you want. Good. You're either smart or you value your life. Either way, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now, if you're really looking to get on my good side, there's no shortage of work around here. So, if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. a few strings if someone like you is in charge now. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. You can head on in, overboss. Mags a All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. <laughs> you can go.
Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So, we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Regret, I guess? I, I didn't want to kill him. You'd be the only one. Agreed. Not going to make much of a splash around Nuka World with an attitude like that. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. And what's that? Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here and would make valuable allies. So long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me, and we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Crews lost a lot of purpose when we got here and found it wasn't what Coulter promised. Idleness makes people weak. Any operator gets caught breaking the peace, I'll punish them myself, boss. Can't let them think it's all right to get caught. Hey. Sir? Hey, Codsworth. Can I be of service? Your thoughts? I was just running some diagnostics on the old internal, sir. Maintaining such a level of performance doesn't come easy, you know. <laughs> Your thoughts? I won't let you down, sir. Oh, nothing. All right, then. Should be a couple odd jobs available if you want to get your hands dirty. Talk to Mags. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. They sure as hell were born for it. Caught one of the traders stealing food. 
turned him loose outside. Welcome the to the nest, boss. Yeah. We was wondering when you'd make it down to target here. practice. to look at you. You're gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the PAX Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problem, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. Let's work together, Mason. I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you don't have to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, and that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. But we thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He ran in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. So what is it you want? Apps, action, something, anything that's more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last year. Things could be worse, trust me. I've seen it. No shit. We've all seen it worse. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cats we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip a bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on them. Got us together and promised to find someone to deal with Colter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I trust we're done with the history lesson. Yeah, boss. Just trying to fill you in on why we're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street.
Man, I've been getting the shakes bad. I haven't slept in days. It's gotta be around here somewhere. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? Gage. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. So, uh, what comes next, Gage? Next, the fun stuff. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag? Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want, and then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together, so I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. <laughs> Why? What's in it for you? For the love of... Ain't you been listening? I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gangs. Shit goes south, it ain't just your head they're gonna want on a stick. I like my head where it is, so if I can do anything to help keep it there, I'm gonna. So, what's it gonna be? We doing this together, or not? That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Anything in here? Hey. What's up, boss? Look alive, Gage. What do you need? Have any gear I can buy off you? Yeah, boss. Here's everything I got. Hey. Need something from me? What's up, boss? Is everything okay between us? We're good. We'd be better if we were getting rich and killing chumps instead of standing around yapping, but that's just me. Nothing else for now. You got it, boss.
Remember to show your heart admission stuff to get half off an order of Nuka fries at Happy Cafe in Nuka Town, USA. That's it. Got it.
perimeter. Engaging hostile. Guide maps for our hedge maze are available for confused visitors at the Safari Adventure Park Office for only $35. Welcome to the Robco Battle Zone. Sensor Please alert. find a seat. Anomaly Our detected. next show begins in just. Another situation. Gentlemen, are you ready for incredible action? Are you ready for thrilling battle? Attention, are Fugitive you ready should be considered to see the latest robots fighting out in the ultimate showcase? Then it's time for the Robco Battle Zone. Now entering the ring. Robco's Galactrons, with their cutting-edge laser technology, watch as the Galactrons make short work of these iBots. What a show! Can anything challenge the Galactron? Get ready to find out. It's time for a head-to-head -head matchup with the mighty Novatron. Attention. Incredible. Do you want more? Well, we'll give you more. Here they come. Two state-of-the-art Novatron. Contact. And now, the fight you've all been waiting for. The ultimate in high-end robotic engineering. The one. The only. Do not attempt to Robco Space Sentry. You enjoyed the show. Please exit through the doors on the lower level. Don't forget to stop by the Robco gift shop to pick up your very own souvenir from today's fight. Thank you for visiting the Robco Battle Zone. Hostiles neutralized. Recommend immediate repairs to primary systems to ensure continued operation.
Attention. In the event of an emergency, remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. Got it. Adventure awaits. Imagine hundreds of colonies spread throughout the galaxy and beyond. 
nice. For more information, or to sign up for the Vault program, please see a sales associate. Thank you, and enjoy your day here at Nuka World. Join us on a journey into the future, where humanity has set for a first spot. A fucking unrelenting sun. Life on the surface of this room. But life is possible. But life is possible. Vortex modular construction. New colonies can be established on almost any world in a matter of weeks. are no dark bunkers. Your colony will feature beautiful, expansive comedy where you can relax and step into your spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of home. Step into your spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of home. And with all this cutting edge science and technology, you can rest assured that your colony will have the resource a thrilling, 
new adventure awaits. Imagine enjoy a week, very dark, locally sourced. Didn't you hear Just the smell of fresh. Among the stars. For more information, or to sign up for the whole program. Got it.
Attention guests, in case of emergency. attack on hostile target.
going down. Planetscape set. North planetscape set. North entrance. Going down.
Hey. Need something from me? What's up, boss? That's all for now. If you say so. So many chumps, so little time.
chained on the other side. And aren't we having fun? <laughs> Don't worry. The mirrors are too dirty to reflect anything. In your case, I'd say that's probably a benefit.
surprises in store for you. Bingo. What are you doing out of costume again? You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. See? I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry, I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Back in character. I need to prepare some more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out. I guess we know where all the radiation's coming from now, huh?
lot more to this place than you think. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Up. <coughs> no matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Ha!
yes. are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. You realize your friends are feral ghouls, right? They're not feral. They're sick. They can't help what they've become. It's an illness, and it certainly doesn't justify you trying to wipe us out. What do you mean, it's an illness? It's an illness that affects the brain. We're going to find a cure, and we are going to drive you out of our home. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you are the first outsider I've met? that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? You've been here for 200 years? Why? We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home over time. The illness took the minds of my friends, and those that we love. I am going to find a cure, and fix my friends before someone like you comes along, and exterminates us all. There's no point in arguing anymore. Just leave. Perhaps I would leave. But I made a promise to keep this place safe until my ritual finds the cure. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it. An apology for misjudging you.
Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment, now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cola Quantum. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. And just look at that amazing patented blue glow. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we take you through the Nuka Cola World of Refreshments. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2042 when our founder, John Caleb Brad Burton, was a budding chemist. He dreamt of a delicious soft drink that would provide energy, focus, and 120% the recommended daily value of sugar. Hey, Mom and Dad. Are you ready for a night out on the town? Then... Pick up an ice cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most thirst quenching way to Got it. Thirty five percent alcohol by volume. Not consume Nuka Cola Dark. Do not operate motor vehicles or heavy machinery for at least eight hours after drinking. Hey, Mom and Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Hey, Mom and Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Then pick up an ice-cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most thirst-quenching way to unwind. This isn't just a ride, it's one of several operational factories actively producing Nuka Cola. Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour each delicious liquid into our new Space Age rocket bottle. And now for a special surprise, this is where we produce the newest member of our family, Nuka Cola Quanto. On behalf of all of us at Nuka World, we hope you have enjoyed the ride and learning more about Nuka Cola. Nuka World, we hope you have enjoyed the ride and learning more about Nuka Cola. On behalf of all of us at Nuka World, we hope you have enjoyed the ride and will think more about Nuka Cola. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Assessment, now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. That blue glow isn't just for show, folks. Quantum contains a top secret additive to give you a nuclear boost of energy. And now for a special surprise. This is where we produce the... Newest member of our family, Nuka-Cola Quantum.
Is it worth bringing it all easy to sell? Just for show, folks. Quantum. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. And just look at that amazing patented blue glow. It began its journey in the year 2042, when our founder, John Caleb Bradford, was a budding chemist.
In charge here? We like to say the only thing that's really in charge here is ah 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 fun. Get along, little doggy at Dry Rock Gulch. Really bad. Welcome back, partner. You ready for a rotin' tootin' good time here at Dry Rock Gulch? This whole area is infested with blood worms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must mean the no good outlaws that are coming out of Man Mulligan's Mine. Well, partner, if you're interested in lending a hand, I could use a no deputy. What do you say? Let me see if I can run some overrides and make you a little more helpful. Employee manual login recognized. Currently running in full bar exhibition mode. Visitors are directed to our three main activity centers. Doc Phosphate Saloon. Giddy up, kids, corral, and one eyed Ike's quick draw contest. After completing each activity, the visitor will be given part of the combination to the safe that holds the key to Mad Mulligan's Mine. Signs of life in the mine, originally believed to be mine, cart, ride, attendance, but may actually be an infestation of deadly worms. Advise contracting exterminators system will now reboot. Have a nice day and don't forget your uniform. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? what it takes to be one of my deputies. Come on over and find out. There's my favorite deputy. Feeling thirsty? A little administrative override is in order. Employee manual login recognized. 
Exhibition Bypass Protocol engaged. Handing over part one of this week's safe combination rebooting. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. You look hard there, stranger. You know what you need? A bottle of Nuka Cola. Wild. The fruit based flavor with each hospitality is a prepare to experience life beyond Earth dry and rock among the stars. Exhibit sponsored by a grant from the Vault Tech Corporation. The bar. I got three orders of drinks I need you to deliver. One is just upstairs, and the other two are in town. You game? Sounds easy enough. Good deal. Say hello to Prospector Owen, Miss Trixie, and Handy Hank for me. Hey boss, can we talk now? Attention! In the event of an emergency, remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. That's it for now. Good job. Did old prospector Owen give you one of his great tall tales as a reward for his drink? What about Miss Trixie and Andy Hank? You Attention haven't spoken guests. to any of them the yourself in a while, to the have you? I would I find folks such as yourself PM. are always Thank on hand you. to serve them their drinks. Now, did Owen, Trixie, and Hank give you any of their fine tales? I'm afraid everyone's dead. The only things left are their skeletons. Well, that ain't good. Nuka-Cola, 
would like to apologize that this part of the Dry Rock Gulf experience was not up to our standards. Rest assured, your complaint will be forwarded to the Human Resources and Maintenance Departments. Now, why don't you take this part of the safe combination and try out one of our other great activities. We still have 14 unclaimed hey, children recovered why from the not take a few more bottles of Nuka Cola while on your way out, courtesy of Nuka Cola. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Attention. In the event of an emergency, Remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thanks. Corral some horses. Good luck out there. Remember, check the Nuka Cola refreshment stands. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Check all the Nuka Cola refreshment stands. Those giddy up buttercups have got to be hiding around there. Nuka World is pleased to announce that a small portion of your efficiency will be donated. Tell people I died from tripping over my gun, falling off a cliff, anything. It'd be less embarrassing. Survival. 
ships are now boarding at Nuka Galaxy. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? Hey boss, can we talk now? Look, Sheriff, I just cleared out that mine full of dangerous pests. Can you drop the act for one second? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just an old-fashioned cowboy. 
trying to show folks a good time here at Nuka World. That mine was the nest for a bloodworm queen. Now that she's gone, this whole area should be a lot safer. I can't understand a word of what you're saying, but you've been the best deputy this side of the Mississippi. Here, take some souvenir bottle caps courtesy of the Nuka Cola Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch anytime. Before I heard something. See you kill monster. You friend? Are you okay? Why are you talking like that? Sito sorry, Sito not talk good. Sito family not talk. Sito not talk to man or lady in long time. You kill monster alone. Monster strong, but you stronger. Sito happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. What the heck are those things? Are they some sort of death claw? Death? Claw? Sito not know. Sito only know death bad and monster bad. Well, it can't hurt you anymore, Sito. No. Many more monster. No, stop. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters? Maybe. Do you have any idea where they're coming from? Sito not know. New friend, follow Sito. Sito show you thing. Thing to help kill monsters. Hey boss, can we talk now? Go 
world is proud to be hosting our Qantas celebration. Stop by Cappy's Cafe to sample Nuka Cola's newest and most delicious flavor. This home. No worry. They not hurt you. You friend Sito. Me, you friend family. How did you end up being raised by these gorillas? Sito very small when first family died. First family look like Sito. Sito not die. Just walk and walk. Find zoo place. Find new family. New family help Sito. Give Sito food. Give water. Keep Sito safe. Now Sito big and strong. Sito help family fight monsters. Great. I always wanted to be best friends with a bunch of gorillas. Sito glad new friend like family. Now you help Sito. Family in danger. Hide here from monsters. Here only play safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Sito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Sito. Sito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Sito scared monster hurt family. Why bring me here then? Listen to Sito. Sito have story. Story help stop monsters. Sito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Sito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monsters. Sito mad at Wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. He give Sito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Sito stop monsters. Sito try help more, but Wrinkly man die. Sito put wrinkly man in ground, but keep shiny thing. Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Sito. The hell? I know they're never gonna work right after this. Hey boss, can we talk now? Sito. Dead man have important thing.
Hey, boss, can we talk now? Hmm. So it seems like the Gator Claws, the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing. Help, new friend. Do you know anything about a cloning facility around here? New friend say strange words. Sito not know what new friend want. But Sito know more about Wrinkly Man. Sito see Wrinkly Man come from Big Triangle House long time ago. Go to Big Triangle House. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Sito come with new friend. Sito help. Can you get your family to help us? Chris, big and strong. Chris help new friend and Sito. Stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. Big triangle I'm house. Gonna... That door Sito never opened. It seems like Dr. Hine was kidnapped and taken somewhere called the Angry Anaconda? We find that and we can find his passcode to get into the cloning facility. Sound like name of snake from old zoo. Oh, maybe doctor under giant metal snake. Giant metal snake? That doesn't make much sense. No friend, not worry. Sito, no. It big. What word? Ride. Ride like big snake. Sito see from everywhere. Very big. Very snaky. It uphill behind Sue. Maybe Doctor Man there. How did you know an anaconda was a kind of snake, Sito? Sito try learn words from Sue. Lots of words in Sue. Words. Pictures. Sito see anaconda in house with snakes. Pictures in house with snakes look like big metal snake on hill. Sito smart. Good job, Sito. I knew you'd be helpful. Sito help. Sito like help, new friend. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Terminal only. Hey, boss, can we talk now?
wind up looking like a ghoul. Can we limit the rads? Just a reminder that Nuka World is not responsible for injuries sustained by the audience during the Cola Class Copy Cavalcade. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Terminal's got to be somewhere. Sito never been here. Great. New 
Nuka Orange or Nuka Cherry. Now available at any one of our park concession stands. Zero. New friend done? No more monsters? Can't you tell? Sito uh, not see more monsters. How Sito thank new friend? I have some friends moving in here. But if you play it cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Sito trust you. Sito like more new friends. Before go, here, new friend take. It better shiny thing Sito say. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? <laughs> <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, the daily duel of Nuka Knight and the Nuka Cola Dark Knight has been postponed until further notice. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand, we ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Why bother with the Commonwealth? Don't we have everything we need over here? That sounds like Coulter talking, boss. Ain't a good sign. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Sounds like you've had this plan from the beginning. The ideas crossed my mind, sure. But I'm just making suggestions here. You're the one that needs to give the go-ahead. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? 
I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone, but Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. If you're vouching for this Shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey, boss, can we talk now? Word is, super mutants just hit the place. They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left, how good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here. Hey, boss, Earn this. Talk now. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well... I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. And what makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth. Well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to, and the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. 
This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. <laughs> is there a difference between the approaches? Well, settlers will probably rally some bodies if you try and wipe them out. But it's a guaranteed way to claim a spot. If you try to scare them off their land, there's a chance they might just tell you to take a hike. At that point, you might be able to buy them off. But it could end up getting expensive if you don't work them over a bit first. Beyond just that, there are some places out there overrun with trouble. Ghouls, children of Adam and the like. Those places aren't going to be interested in having a chat. So you're going to have more options if you go in guns blazing. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The Operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again, make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? We can't target certain settlements with certain jobs? Unfortunately. Can't talk people off their land if there's no one around to talk to and the like. Most cases, I'll try to let you know why we can't target a place. But the biggest hindrance is if there's already some activity going on there. Though if that is the case, that Pip-Boy of yours might be able to give you some info on whatever might be blocking us hitting that spot. Now, you ready to pick that first settlement? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor? Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery, and the Slog. Again, I can't guarantee those will all be available targets till I check my notes. But if they are, they're certainly a good place to start. Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, where do you want to hit? Mm-hmm. All right, that one will work. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're going to want to do before trying to run them off. Scare them good, boss. Hey boss, can we talk now? Can we do this later? Fine. Nothing that can't wait. Hey boss, can we talk now? <laughs> Welcome back.
Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Nuka World is a trap for fools, and an opportunity for those who recognize it. Hey. Over, boss. A pleasure. Shank said you might need some tools to uh, ease relations with the people of the Commonwealth. Well, you've come to the right place. I've put together a couple of toys that should make getting what you want out of those rubes easier. <laughs> Only thing we ask in return is that you remember the operators when you're handing out new territory on the other side of the mountains. What exactly have you got? So, first up, something to manipulate a target. It's a homemade distillation brewed to mimic human flight pheromones. Toss one of these grenades at the feet of your target, and convincing the wary settler suddenly becomes a much simpler affair. Now, to function effectively, I had to make the formula precise. So it's not going to work on people in any of the big towns like Bunker Hill or Diamond City, nor on caravanners. But for your purposes, hitting settlements out in the Commonwealth, it ought to give you a serious edge. So it only works at settlements. Are there any other restrictions I need to know about? Nothing beyond that. I've been trying to get the formulas working better for more varied environments. But for now, the current brew should serve. Take any advantage I can get. Well, this should give you one. Here. Only had enough to make the one locally. But you can take the recipe as well, should you find yourself wanting more. So... The other trick up our sleeve is a little more broad spectrum than the grenades. Gulp down a couple lungfuls, and anyone you speak to will be far more apt to give you what you want. Plus, I've winnowed down the addiction risk to near zero, so no need to fear repeat usage. Here, ingredients for that one have been tricky to find, but between that and the grenade, you should have no problem getting at least one settlement under your control before you have to brew up your own. And just... Remember us when you're crushing those poor settlers underfoot, hmm? Supporting the operators. The smartest thing a lot of us has done in our lives. For you? Are you the one in charge around here? About as much as anyone, sure. Now you want to tell me what it is you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. Y you want th this place? Th listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I... But I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh. That's... That's how it's gonna... Fine. Take it. Place... Place is all yours. Hey, boss. If you want to rest for a minute, this would be a good place to do it. Hey, you. I'm going. I'm going.
plan's yours, okay? Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. Anyone who goes up against us won't know what hit them. Yeah, I'm thinking this place will do. At least once we get some supplies coming in. You ought to head on back, boss. Let them know how it went. going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's a damn good start. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop at kneecaps? Are there any details I should know about these methods? Well, these jobs run pretty similar to those for claiming territory. Using force will give you more places you can target. Plus, settlers can't just blow you off. You try scaring them into paying up without laying some groundwork first? It could end up being a costly endeavor. Now, any thoughts on how you want to do this? Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? The operators. I'll send word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. Joint called Nordhagen Beach, I think, is close enough to work. Could be a good target. Though I'd need to check my notes, of course. So, where do you want to hit? Huh. Was that... Yup, that place'll do. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Tools from the operators could also make your life easier. Plus, having an outpost nearby gives us another option. Claiming the airwaves. Building a Nuka World radio transmitter at an outpost within range of the target will let them know we're closing in on them. 
Your Pip-Boy map should show you which outposts are close enough to serve. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. But, <laughs> you got options. Good luck. Hey. Hey, you uh, want to tell me what you're doing here? You ever heard of Nuka World? The theme park with all the raiders? Sure. Why? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends in Nuka World caps, food, whatever you got. In exchange, we won't bother you. Oh, I, I don't know. A lot of hard work goes into this place. Can't just give it to you. Listen. You're gonna start working for me now, alright? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. I... Fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now please, get the hell out of here. Hey, boss, can I ask you something? Sounds like they're gonna tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking, for what it's worth. What can you tell me about this gang? Not a whole lot. Our scout said the boss calls himself Sinner. Claims to have a decent sized crew ready to take what we stole fair and square. Suppose he just needs to learn who his betters are. So, are you and I of the same mind on how that ought to get done? I want to try talking to them. So, that's a no then. Look, boss, your clout may get you what you want around here, but that doesn't earn you a thing with raiders in the Commonwealth. All those mutts understand is force. And I think it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. Doc Weathers is guaranteed to patch up any bruises, holes, and diseases you've picked up. But I ain't got no fix for personality. Are you 
really a doctor? Am I a doctor? Let me show you my degree from the school of saving wise asses like you. I'm a positive institution in these parts, so you need help or what? Are you really a doctor? You want news? Want me to rub your feet at the same time? I only got time for one thing. Making caps. Oh, and, uh, you know, helping people. Never mind. We're done. On your way, then. Doc. Dangerous world out there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, no business for docs, am I right? Not right now. Fine. Hey. Uh, good, you're here. Got word those punks were spotted not far from here, boss. Whole place is on alert. We'll keep an eye out. Let him try and take this place. Who's in charge around here? I'll tear their heart out. I want the head of whoever's running this shit show brought to me on a plate. You. You, the Nuka World waste pile that thought you could move your gang into sinner's territory and live? You give me one good reason I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. Look, I'm sure there's a solution that helps us all here. Let's figure something out. To hell with that. We got enough trouble from the other gangs around here poaching our scores. Ain't no room for another crew. Now explain to me why I shouldn't just gut you. Sinner, it doesn't have to be like this. We can be stronger together than we ever were apart. Join my gang! Are you fucking kidding me? I will wear your bows. Kill them! <laughs> Keepers, am I right? Heard some rumbles, this one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. So, what's next? Well, right to business then. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours, ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. What can you tell me about entertainment for the outpost? Well, it's a damn handy way to keep folks distracted if you're lacking in certain basics. Constructing pick-me-up stations or getting one of your crew working on a booze still 
will certainly help lift your outpost's <laughs> spirits. And if the place has got a Nuka World transmitter powered up, you can construct amplifiers to help as well. Anything else I can answer for you? Tell me more about providing food for the outpost. So, managing your outpost's food can get a little tricky. No one ever joined a crew to dig in the dirt. So you'll want to make sure you've convinced enough settlements to supply your gang. People at the outpost can farm in a pinch, but they sure as hell won't be happy about it. Now, if you're ever wondering if your outpost has enough food, you should take a look in your Pip-Boy. It ought to have a page that'll show you everything your outpost currently needs, food included. If they're low on grub, it's probably time to get a new settlement supplying you. Or you could always drop some food direct in their workshop if it comes to it. Now, was there something else? I want to know more about managing the outpost's basic necessities. Day-to-day -day needs. They're pretty straightforward. Just need to make sure you've set up solid defenses. Plenty of beds under cover, and enough clean water to go around. Not much more to it than that. Was there anything else? I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip any time you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that'd interest you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, there anything I can do? Answer some questions for me. Shoot. Is there anything our outpost needs at the moment? Improved defenses is the word going around at the moment. Couple more turrets or guard posts ought to do it. Was there anything else? What do I need to take into account when intimidating settlements? Well, the bigger and more fortified your target is, the more work you're gonna have to do to get them to crack. But using tools from the operators, building a Nuka World transmitter within range of the settlement you're trying to target, they'll make it easier. Plus, the more outposts you've got nearby your target, the more interested they'll be in what you've got to say. So, was there something else? Remind me, what's the best way to keep outposts happy? Well, you want to make sure they've got all the necessities, defenses, beds, water, and food. Ideally, coming in from a settlement you've convinced to hand over supplies, but you can always drop some direct in their workshop if need be. Beyond that, you could build them some entertainment, a boo still, pick-me-up station, an amplifier if you've got a Nuka World transmitter set up. And if you're wondering what they're lacking, best thing to do is check your Pip-Boy. It's got a page with all the information you could need on what your outpost might want. I'm also willing to share whatever I hear. And lastly, don't make them farm. Lose a lot of goodwill from your gangs by making them pick fruit. You had any other questions? That was it. Got it. Something else I could do for you? I'm interested in running a job. You got it. Just need the details. What job you looking to run? Let me think about it. I'm in no hurry. Hey, Shank. Boss? Something I can do for you? There another settlement you want to... help? Looking to run a job. Works for me. What type of job did you want to run? I want to claim another outpost for our gangs. Let's just get the first one squared away for now. Expansion can come later. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking to have some words with a local settlement. Convince them to contribute to the cause. Well, alright. 
So which gang do you want keeping folks in line when you're done? The Disciples. Done. So, where do you want to hit? Huh. Was that... Yeah, that one will do. Bunch of ways you can convince these folks to hand over supplies. You can try talking them into it, or you could rough them up some. Tools from the operators could also make your life easier. And you could always throw up a Nuka World transmitter at an outpost that hasn't got one. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. Plenty of ways for you to skin this cat. Have fun. Hey, you. Just some raiders with the raiders. Sure um, what can I do for you? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends in Nuka World caps, food, whatever you got. In exchange, we won't bother you. Oh, I... I, I don't know. A lot of hard work goes into this place. Can't just give it to you. Listen, you're gonna start working for me now, all right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. I... Fine, if it'll get you off my back. Now please, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Someone's coming through the gauntlet. Go see Fritch. He'll tell you what to do. Boss? Seems congrats are due on the outpost. Sounds like it's everything a group of murderous sociopaths could ask for. So, you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? And that is... Bodies. And not the kind the disciples like to leave sitting around. Because what you've made is a foothold to solidify our place. Our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, <laughs> well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts, get to selling stuff like real damn towns. We keep expanding from there, we'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, you'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling on those jobs. So, boss, what's the plan? Was hoping you could arrange a job for me. Yeah, yeah. What kind of job we talking here? 
It's time we took over another settlement. And did you want to talk the settlers off their land yourself? Or should I rally some bodies to help you put them on ice? I'll go have a word with them. Yeah, sure. And which crew should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The pack. I'll send word along. Or howl or something. So, where you want to do this? Mm-hmm. Uh, boss? That's one of the places providing us with supplies. You sure you want to target them? Actually, I'd rather not target that one. Of course. You want to name a different target? Or a different job, maybe? Remind me, what's the difference between the types of jobs? Well, with jobs where you're trying to convince folks, not every settlement's gonna have someone who wants to chat. So you'll have more options using force. Also, can't say no to firepower. You try chatting with the settlement, they might just tell you to take a hike. Let's try another target. Sure thing. So, where do you want to hit? Mm hmm. Yeah, that one will do. So, standard runoff job. You can scare the hell out of them, or try to buy them off. Whatever you need to do to get them off their land. Any toys the operators gave you ought to make things easier. Claiming additional outposts within range of the target will also help make convincing them go better. But that's more big picture. Something to consider as you plan out future conquests. But ultimately, it's up to you, boss. Good luck. Hey. Yeah? Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here for your land. You should leave while you can still walk. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, all right? Look, you're just a gang. It's home. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh, that's, that's how it's gonna, you, you, fine. Take it. Place, place is all yours.
Hey boss, just one more outpost to claim. You want me to set up that job, you just say. So, what do you need? I'm interested in running a job. Yeah, yeah. What kind of job we talking here? A new outpost. I want to get one set up. Got it. So how'd you want to approach it? Talk them into leaving yourself? Or you and a crew putting some lead in them? I'll convince them to leave. Got it. And which crew should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The Disciples. Got it. So, where do you want to hit? Mm-hmm. All right. That one will work. So, standard runoff job. You can scare the hell out of them, or try to buy them off. Whatever you need to do to get them off their land. Any toys the operators gave you ought to make things easier. Claiming additional outposts within range of the target will also help make convincing them go better. But that's more big picture. Something to consider as you plan out future conquests. But ultimately, it's up to you, boss. Good luck. Hey, you. Yeah? Can I help you? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want th this place? Listen, I'm not trying to piss you off here, but I... I'm not sure that's gonna work. This is home. Well, I'm gonna make this easy for you. Take these caps and go. Caps? For this? Uh... Yeah. Fine. I, uh... I guess it's all yours. Shank. God damn it. Bad news, boss. The disciples have turned on us. After everything we've done for them, they turned on us? Ungrateful shits. I expected more from Nisha. Seems they didn't like how you were doling out territory. 
Nisha and her crew went and stormed Nuka World's power plant. The other bosses, well, they're waiting on you before they move in. You better get up there and put an end to those turncoats before they do something stupid. Well, something else stupid. like Nisha's dug in pretty well up there. I knew that nut job would turn on us sooner or later. So, are we storming the place or what? Think we're about to find out. The boss is here. While you were away, Nisha gathered up her gang and took the power plant. If that bitch thinks she's going to get away with this, she's dead wrong. I'll tuck her in for a dirt nap myself. You gotta be kidding me. She turned on us after everything we've done for her. How could you let this happen? I'm sorry. Since when am I in charge of the other gangs? I thought that was your job. Just calm down and start at the beginning. Story time, huh? Fine. While you were away, word came back from the Commonwealth that you were favoring the Operators and the Pack. Which we certainly appreciated. But, surprise, surprise. Nisha wasn't exactly thrilled to hear the news. Yeah. She and her gang forced their way into the power plant. Now they've got the entire place locked down. She can't get away with it, boss. And we all want in on the action. Hey now, I already lost men trying to stop her. I won't be satisfied until it's my hands wrapped around her scrawny little neck. Eyes popping out of her stupid little mask. Both of you, shut up. Look, boss. This is your play. We'll follow you anywhere, but you have to swear to us that Nisha will be punished for her actions. I hate to lose the Disciples. Isn't there some other way? They're lost already, boss. Nisha killed some of our own. She needs to pay for what she's done. I didn't build all this up just to watch her tear it down. Amen. Let's do this!
hear something? Everyone dies. Why fight it? See you. Life gauge. Nuka world. All lit up. God damn you. All it takes are a few rides and some lights to make you this sentimental? I mean, that's part of it. But it's bigger than that. Now that Nish is gone, and most of the disciples have been wiped out, there ain't much left to stop us. We've made one hell of a mark on the Commonwealth. 
There ain't a soul from here to Diamond City that hasn't heard of us. And despite what happened at the power plant, the rest of our gangs are stronger than ever. I took a big chance helping you take down Coulter. Glad that paid off. You know the real difference between him and you? The reason that the rest of us are behind you? You were willing to bleed for us. You put your neck on the line to get us ahead in this shitty world. And believe it or not, that means something to us. Okay, I can tell you want something. What is it? I'm serious. I don't have an angle here, boss. I meant every word I said. So I guess the next move is yours to make. With the power to the park back online, you might want to cover old ground and see if you can get into some of the places that were cut off. Or maybe hit up Shank and take out a few more Commonwealth settlements, if you've left any standing. Oh, and of course, you could always lend Mags or Mason a hand. I'm sure they have plenty of jobs to run. What about the rest of the Disciples? If any of them are left alive, they're gonna be pissed off that you took down Nisha. So, keep your eyes open for them. Sounds like we still have plenty of trouble to get into. I guess we better get started. Then I guess that does it, boss. You point the way and the gangs will follow. There's plenty of caps out there just waiting to be taken. And as long as you keep bringing them in, we'll have your back. to you over boss things have progressed nicely the park's on its feet again we're finally set up in the commonwealth the disciples being shown their way out of existence was certainly a pleasant surprise i suppose gage wasn't wrong to put so much faith in you you've certainly earned your place here and now you and the operators better toe the line, or else you'll be the next gang removed from existence. You don't need to worry, Overboss. I think we're stuck with each other at this point. Because what it took to get where you are now, the burned bridges, the salted earth, there is no going back. Like it or not, you're one of us. A cutthroat. A killer. A raider. But, as luck would have it, it would seem that this was the life you were meant for. Dang! I was hoping I could be a pony. Sorry, boss. Take it from experience. There's no use in fighting who you are. You can only either let your nature consume you, fall to boos and chems like the rabble around this place, or you can embrace it, let it drive you. So, with that in mind, I hope you'll appreciate the earnestness with which I mean this. Welcome home, Overboss. Here is to a bright future. you had it in you. You gave those disciples a real bloodbath. So, how's it feel to get revenge? What would you have done? I'd have done the exact same thing. Except, maybe I'd have done it sooner. And make them suffer a little more. Either way, more spoils for the rest of us. Am I right, boss? You know, I had my doubts about you. Big ones. But you pulled it off. Nuka World is up and running. We're raking it in out in the Commonwealth. Things are good. Better than ever. You done good, boss. What's next? I'm still figuring that out. What do you think we should do? We keep going. We take over more settlements in the Commonwealth. We take what we want. And we keep taking until we own everything. Oh, and let me make something clear. I appreciate what you've done. 
But don't go thinking we're friends. We ain't. I'd still happily kill you if enough caps were involved. Hey, boss. Let's chat. A little bird told me you're looking for some tools to help claim us some new outposts. And ain't it just your lucky day? Wait till you see what I got. Found some toys a couple operators left on their corpses in a back alley. Not sure how they got themselves dead like that. No shame. I took them apart and made a little something different out of the parts. It was just gonna be a toy for my pets. But it's more useful than that. Beasts find these things irresistible. Toss them on the ground, and anything nearby and hungry will come a-running, ripping anything in their path to pieces. But, uh, you're gonna wanna be a safe distance away. Because, well, the things leak. A little. Don't wanna end up becoming a snack yourself. Oh, and here, take this paper. It'll show you how to make more. Don't look so surprised. We ain't all knuckle-draggers. Can I use it indoors? Nah, doorknobs. Bane of creatures great and small. Also, the sense tuned for creatures in the Commonwealth. So if you travel real far, probably not gonna work there either. It's impressive, Mason. Ha, <laughs> ain't it though? Don't forget where you got those. And when you're putting that to good use claiming new haunts, don't forget us, all right? 